we started dating nine days after we met, mm. and then got married five months after we met. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I'm Hey guys, what's up? So recently I met this girl who is an American but she grew up in Japan because her dad is a pastor from the US and he's ministering in Japan and her mom is Japanese. So she is half white and half Asian and her husband is a Korean Korean. Not long ago they moved from Japan to South Korea and I thought it would be great to interview them and find out what is it like to be an interracial couple. So without further ado, let's go. So first of all, let's start with how did you guys meet? How did we meet? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Immediately. So, like when you first met her, uh, did you have any feelings for her, or it was like just like a random meeting, you know? Oh, no, 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 details and I remember the details. He's like, I don't know what happened. I remember what you're wearing and everything, but you don't remember. How about you, like when you saw him the first time, did you, you know, like it's not about like you fall in love, but like, oh, this dude is like handsome, or, like he's good looking. What, what, did you get any of that kind of feeling? I did, you know, it was mm. so weird because I, I usually don't have those feelings. It takes me time to get to know someone, mm. if I warm up to them or not. But in, in his case, I was like, oh, yeah, this, this very unique aura, mm -hmm. I remember. It was like a very, I just, it wasn't love at first sight, but I felt like, oh, I have to get to know this person, and I want to be friends with this person, yes. Okay, we, we started dating nine days after we met, and then got married five months after we met. That's I don't, we were young. I was 19, you were 20, 22. 22. Yeah, just, and we finished army, right? Yeah. So I don't remember. It was just something that happened naturally. Just like, get on the Okay. Oh, you wanted to get married? Oh yeah, two weeks after we met. I was I was really flattered because I thought even if it doesn't work out, I was like, oh, he's dating me with serious intentions. Yeah, I was right. flattered. Yeah. yeah. But then I wonder, like you know, uh, recently because you know, like young people, they don't want to get married that early because they're more into their career and stuff. What led you to see in this girl that like you know she's the one? No matter, I'm not gonna lose her. Like. Hmm. Good question. Do you remember? Could <laughs> 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 Oh, but one thing that was really interesting was I remember he had this serious look on his face once and he said, Stephanie, I have to tell you something. <laughs> my family has no money. As if it was a big deal. I says, my family has no money. Mm -hmm. As if the, the world was ending. I says, mm -hmm. hey, if your family doesn't have money, my family has less. So oh. <laughs> let's not go there. Like, what, what, what is the issue? But culturally, I learned later that in Korea, you need to have the house and the car and all this stuff to get married. But, um, yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, he didn't know it wasn't our house, it's the ministry's house. Uh, so, yeah. I see, I see. Again, okay, you mentioned your dad is a pastor, yes, so the church gave pastor. the house our yes, right. Yes. Oh, I see, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, it must be a big pressure for you, like, oh, she lived in a good house. and. Um, Oddly, um, his family, his parents were like, no, 
Absolutely not. Like, who is this? Who is this? It was this yeah. <laughs> who, who is this foreign girl who is trying to? They were like, you need to focus on studies. No, absolutely not. And my parents, okay, I will tell you. you know what my my father just found out that we were dating. He, actually, he's my first boyfriend. So first, first boyfriend, Whoa. and then two weeks later, he's like, Pastor, I want to marry your daughter. And my dad laughed. And he said, okay. <laughs> that was it. Really? There was nothing. I was so excited. I was so nervous. So I was like, is that it? Like, isn't there going to be like, she's my only daughter. Take care of her. No, he just laughed. So how did your parents accept it? Or what were the like, problems? Like, did you have a lot of fights with your parents? Okay. I went home and I went home. All right. So I met and I was nervous a little bit. But the door opened. And then Stephanie showed me. My father said, 뭐라고 했냐면 오오 오, 사랑한다. 오, <웃음> 오, <웃음> 오, <웃음> 오, <웃음> the first thing he said is like 오 사랑해요. 오, 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 이 사람 이 사람 뭐야? 이 아저씨 왜 그래? Didn't even say hi. Oh, sweet. <웃음> I know. You got married like within five months, right? Weren't your parents also worried like oh that's too early or something? Like your parents? What? Well, so like um because you know like in Japan already there's a lot of Korean culture now that is going and I think back then also you knew a little bit about Korea. Um what was your expectations versus reality? Like you imagine Korean guys are like this. And saw him as a boyfriend, but then later you were like, "Oh, it's different," or it was very like uh, according to your expectations. Um, I expected him to be more fiery and emotional. Mm -hmm. I, f I feel, and he's not. All oh, right. But that was, I guess, me projecting those what I saw on TV onto him because oh. everyone has personalities, whatever mm -hmm. race or culture they grew up in, and. Mm -hmm. I remember he was so kind all the time to me. Okay. He always did everything around the house, cleaned like mm -hmm. you would not believe. Always put me first. And I remember I said wow. to him, if you cannot continue doing this throughout our whole relationship, please don't do it now because I don't want to be disappointed. Like I want to see the real you really now. Right. If you're not going to take the garbage out in five years, don't do it now. Let's do it together. Um. And he said yes, but he kept continuing to do it. And I was like, okay, this is good, probably going to change in the future. But he's still that way. So, oh, wow. yeah. If now, I'm, now I know why you wanted to get him. Like, right? <laughs> People are like, oh, you married, you got such a young girl. I'm like, guys, uh, he takes out the garbage, washes the dishes, cleans the house, <laughs> takes oh, care of the baby. Yeah. And what about you? Like, as, as a guy, like, what, you know, probably uh, because Koreans also knew, uh, know a lot about Japan, right? So. As you expected, Japanese girls, you know, like kawaii, and then you meet Stephanie, and then you're like, oh, it's it's different after you got married. 처음에는 터프하다 몰랐어요. 아니 그걸 알아도 그걸 알아도 상관없어. 아니야. 알아도 상관없어. I hope they don't fight tonight. 멋있어요. 쿨해요 되게. I see, I see. Okay. 나중에 얘기할게. Like when you go out in like community centers where they're all Korean mothers with their kids, mm -hmm. do you ever feel a little bit of uh, discrimination, like you know, or sometimes hard to adjust with them? You know, I, I really don't. Mm -hmm. I feel I can see a lot of people look. I know I, I look different, my baby kind of looks different, so a lot of people look, but I feel if anything, I can see that they want to talk to me, oh, right, but right. they don't have the courage to. Uh -huh. There's some stares, but not really mm -hmm. discrimination, oh, no, right, right. I haven't felt that mm -hmm. so far. And in Korea, there are many events like Chuseok or uh, Seolnal. <laughs> you face when you have these events where you have to be there and then you have to act like us you know daughter in law or something um i think it's different for me mm -hmm. because from day one he was like a wall in between 
So we talked together in the very early stages when we were dating. Okay. I deal with my parents, mm -hmm. you deal with your family, oh. and we're always on each other's side, no matter what happens, and so if some, like, there have been a couple of relatives who had said some things about the way I parent mm -hmm. and stuff before, okay. mm -hmm. and he went to them oh. and said, don't talk to her that way, oh, so no. I never had <laughs> to deal with it, but mm -hmm. so I, in my case, I find it very hard to become close with a lot of oh. the relatives, and I want to, and for me that's hard. I don't know how because there's this hierarchy, mm. and the only way I know how to become close to someone is to talk to them like, hi, how are you? Mm, but right. in Korea, it's you know more mm -hmm. respectful to be, and I can't speak the language that well, so right. I'm just in a corner kind of quiet, mm. and mm. But they don't pressure me. If anything, they leave me alone now, which I don't think is a good thing. So I'm like in the corner, yeah. and they're like, "Oh, um, she, she's fine. She, you know, she she doesn't understand the culture." So, like as um, you know, living from another country, coming to Korea, living here, you know, I know like sometimes um, you could feel lonely. Mm -hmm. You know, like regardless of you have kid now, you have your husband and everything, but you know sometimes you miss your own thing. You know, um, <clears throat> so. How, how do you like overcome all those things every day and like um, also what is your message for girls who are planning to come to Korea or somehow they are dating a Korean guy and they're planning to get married mm -hmm. to a Korean guy. What are the things you would like to tell them, hey, you know, you, it, it would be nice if you know that. Mm -hmm. I wish I find you that before, mm -hmm. some kind of that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. sure. Well, you know, everyone's personality is so different. They deal with loneliness in different mm -hmm. ways. Like some people are outgoing, they need girl time. I personally, I just need family time. Mm -hmm. But I think really communication, whatever culture you're from, mm -hmm. if you're feeling lonely, communicate with your partner that you are. Okay. And just op open, honest communication at all times mm -hmm. um, is so important, especially if you're a foreigner living with no relatives or family in the vicinity. You really have to have a strong relationship with the person you're married to. Mm -hmm. So talk. If, if there's anything, questions you have or insecurities you have, Discuss those before moving, <laughs> and you know what your expectations are, because mm -hmm. I think that's important. <clears throat> what you expect and what you want mm -hmm. from, yeah. Mm -hmm. I made some mistakes as far as, and I did this in Japan as mm -hmm. as well. You know, oh, this is not the American way, or this oh, is not the okay. Japanese way. You okay. know, it's something mm -hmm. that I felt uncomfortable, I mm -hmm. automatically said, it's mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. But it's not wrong. It's just different, mm -hmm. and. If you can change the way you think about something, you realize there is no wrong or right. It's mm. just basically there needs to be a lot of self mm. <laughs> okay. work done mm. there. Mm. I see. So, hey guys, thank you so much for your time today. Thank it you. was so like I learned personally so much, and I hope that a lot of people out there will be having a lot of questions as well. So, hey guys, you know I'll be putting all uh, you know information about Stephanie's uh, YouTube channel because they also have a YouTube channel, so you can actually directly. <laughs> Please do subscribe their channel and you can write all the questions that you have or if you have, want to share something, you can directly contact them. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video today and uh, as I was talking to Taylor and Stephanie, Taylor mentioned that when they started their journey, it wasn't very easy because you know they didn't have money and they just started being students, they got married. But he said, now when I look back, those all those hard times have become beautiful memories and whenever they talk about it they cherish it uh, and that was something that i found so amazing because i feel like right now in our society we have so much pressure about you know i need to buy that ring first i need to have a good house i need to have a car then only i can get married and because of that pressure from the society we missed that timing that taylor mentioned in the beginning i hope from their story we could learn uh, not to be too focused on these worldly things so that we do not miss that timing but let me know what you guys have learned from this video please do let me know in the comment section below and please do not forget to like share subscribe and most importantly smile